hello friends today we are going to discuss about static IP address and the dynamic IP address actually this is not the concept of Oracle but since we are working on server level as well this is important for us to understand the concept so generally we do have static IP address and the dynamic IP addresses static IP address means the address which is static which will not change any time and dynamic means the name itself will tell that the IP address which will change automatically at any time let's take an example like uh, we are using the Wi-Fi connection in our home so whenever new connection is establishing to this Wi-Fi manually we do not need to provide the IP address to the new device in that case dynamic IP address will be assigned to the new connection which is going to connect to the Wi-Fi and this can be done with the help of DSCP server and static IP address means it is static it won't be changed we are using the website so internally it is using one IP address it should be static because if the IP address is getting changed it will trigger to another web page or maybe in another website so we have static IP address and the dynamic IP address here today I'm going to discuss I'm going to tell you about how to change the dynamic IP address to the static IP address so I'm connecting to my server so here I'm using the Oracle Enterprise Linux 5.5 version let me check the IP address my server is using 192.168.53.55 IP address it's a static IP address which I have assigned earlier so I'm here ETH0 is my adapter let me edit it here I can see we do have the two option actually obtain IP address with the help of DSCP server and the second one is static IP address if I'm using this DSCP my server will get the IP address automatically so I'm just trying to figure out what IP address it is going to give okay let's try it here we can see previously the IP address was 53.55 now the IP address is 53 52.141 so our IP address is changed dynamically now I want to give the static IP address to this server so we have need okay go here click on the edit button then use this st static IP address option you can mention whatever the IP address you want to give here in the range I'm giving here 55 subnet mask will be 255.0. Okay. Then click on the OK. When we are clicking on the activate, 
it is restarting the network service we can also manually restart the network service now it's done and now we can check it let me restart the network service once again So here we can see the address which I give one earlier by using this new utility. The static address has been set over here. So next time when my server is getting rebooted, that time it will be having the same IP address. This IP address won't be changed. So this is called the static IP address. I hope you guys understood how to set the IP static ip address if you have any query you can write a mail to me please subscribe my channel and give thumbs up thank you so much see you soon with the next video